Today, we continue our series on self-esteem. It's our belief that if one can address this issue, then he or she can improve his or her life in a variety of ways. We're glad to see that so many of you in the PanicAttackRecovery.com community have enjoyed this series. Today, we discuss another suggestion that has proven helpful for many people. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. As mentioned previously in this series on self-esteem, we're making suggestions that many viewers have found helpful, but these aren't always activities that come to mind when thinking about self-esteem. This is because the solution is somewhat elusive, but there also may be various ways that one might be able to improve their self-esteem. What we can tell you is that many subscribers in the community have embraced these suggestions. We want to discuss today is using a notepad or other means to write things down so that you can write freely on a regular basis. One of the things that happens to anxiety and ADHD sufferers in particular is that they may have a great deal of thoughts going on at once. They become overwhelmed and anxious. There's a great TED Talk called Making ADHD Your Superpower by George C.C., which discusses this idea, and we really liked it. The concept is simple. Whenever you have a feeling of overwhelm or a number of racing thoughts, pick up a pen and start writing. Eventually, you'll notice that your urge to keep writing stops. This is because the process allows you to get those thoughts out. Don't worry about this writing making sense or having to be shared with others. This can be great because you don't need to be worried about what others think and you're free to utilize your creativity. This is a great way to engage the fight or flight response that's so central to anxiety and ADHD. What's great about this process is that you'll naturally generate some good ideas and you'll write down whatever's on your mind. And these notes can be a great resource to refer back to. When you see that your thoughts can be creative and you can naturally come up with good ideas at times, you start to feel better about that feeling of overwhelm because you know what to do with it. You also boost your self-esteem because you can feel a sense of accomplishment. Since you can do this exercise on your own terms, you can learn to be comfortable with yourself and your thoughts. This is key to being secure in terms of your self-esteem. 100% authentic. The real trick is to carry this on a regular basis. Once you get some momentum with this activity, you will see the result. We hope that you have enjoyed this fourth video on self-esteem and look forward to presenting a new video in the series next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter.